Okay. Hi, guys. I want to see if I'm on Facebook here. One second. Let's see. Hey, there it is. Cool. I love it when things work. Love it, love it, love it. All right. I'm multitasking, you guys. I'm coordinating Instacart groceries, and I wanted to do it live at 5, and I know, look at I'm getting closer to 5, so it's like, what is it, 5, 5, 11, that's, that's pretty good, uh, my bit, I've been going at uh, like 5, 30, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, we're on episode 8, and we've been doing this for about 30 days, so you can see I'm super consistent doing it every day, right, fist bump for creativity, bam! You guys ready to draw? Get paper and pencil with you. Let's take a 15-minute brain break today. What I want to do today is I want to draw. Um, I want to adjust my camera so, you, so you're not seeing. Let me see here. Let me adjust that. There it is. Is that, is that even? Uh, I want to work on two-point perspective. And I want to thank you guys for 11 minutes yesterday. For 11 minutes, my book was number one in uh, arts and uh, arts and photography teaching. I don't know why photography, but I'll take it. It's uh, yesterday for 11 minutes was number one in, uh, and also number one in figure drawing. Isn't that great? I love this. This book's been out for 10 years. And uh, Amazon Prime has 33 million titles. 33 million. And out of 33 million, my book uh, was at tw uh, position 12... 1,200 yesterday. I'm trying to get it into the top 100. So that's my personal goal. And thanks for you for purchasing 12, 12 17 copies of my Draw 3D. I want to see what position it's at right now on Amazon. I just, I always, I just, I, I'm going to get it into the top 100 one of these days. Let's see. Mark Kessler, all departments. I'm looking at the, look at the number here. Let's see. And up, it's it dropped out of the best selling position. Too bad. But let's see what the number is here. All right. Oh, we're at 1700. Well, we're numbered. See, here's, here's what you see here. And uh, I love this. I see I'm number 1708. Woo! But if everybody watches, gets a book, I'm going to move that up into the top 100, I bet. Number two, figure drawing. Number two, arts and photography. Number three, in pencil drawing. And uh, so thank you so much. This is what the book looks like. It's only 10 bucks. Look at that paperback. It's $10 online for this book. I pay. That's less than I pay from the publisher. I pay, I think, $11. Uh, the retail is $20 for the book. And you guys, right now, I should be buying my books from Amazon. I should, instead of buying my stock from the publisher. That's funny. You guys can buy it cheaper than the author. Hey, Richard. Hey, Ava. 1,708. Well, I thank you. That's funny. Uh, you were number one. I was number one for 11 minutes on the arts uh, arts education. Hey, Sean Parker. Good to see you guys. Anyway, today I want to work on this lesson a little bit in this book. I want to work on the two-point perspective. I love this lesson. It's a fun lesson here. There it is. And it's just, it's just really cool. See this lesson with the towers? I love that, and uh, it's using the guide point, and I, there, there, here's, there, see that? Isn't that lovely? That's lesson 26, and I actually show you how to, in the book, show you how to make a little cardboard guide for two-point perspective. There's two-point perspective castle, and I did a fun uh, fun with with a tower, two-point perspective. Once, uh, this is your eye level, and you're looking above and below your eye level there, and I did, I think I did one with a, uh, this is one point perspective. This is a great lesson on one point perspective. So let's do, this is what I did today during my daily Fine Arts Academy. I teach every day at three o'clock on Zoom. And we did this today. We did that in 50 minutes. Isn't that awesome? And I was showing them how, like I was using my subscribe YouTube button. I was using uh, this to line up. Or, and I also have a ruler here. I was using. I was showing them you can use any any piece of paper you have. I just happen to have my subscribe there, but the uh, that was my vanishing point, and I was lining them up right here. So I have to warn you: if I cut this short, it's because Instacart is down ringing the doorbell, dropping off my my groceries. I am a big fan of Instacart. Thank you, Instacart people. You guys are awesome. Hey, Karen Wall, how are you? So let's do a 
do a drawing. Karen Wall, one of my longtime artists, drawing, hanging out with me, drawing for th th three years now. Good to see you. All right, so this right here, put a dot in the middle of your piece of paper, about right in the middle. And I'm going to watch this. I'm going to separate this paper into four squares. Now, look at look at that. I, I'm so that my square is not even at all. Don't stress, no stress. I don't even have my, oh, here's my paper puppets. I gotta find my don't, look at, I have a whole folder of paper puppets. Here, I gotta find my don't, no stress button here. Give yourself a license to make mistakes. Take your finger and say, aha, take your finger and say, aha. Here, let's launch pencil power, woo. Thumbs up for your geniusness. Okay, I found it, I found it. No stress, look at, make a mistake, no stress. Stress is on the bus, right? Beep, 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 beep. Because you have to fail to succeed. You have to look at I have all these. I have tons of paper puppets. But I'll put them aside for now. No stress, you guys. No stress. I, I made a, I didn't make my line very straight. But you know what? Uh, I'm going to erase it and try it one more time. Because we can. We have an eraser. So let me try one more time to make this line a little straighter. All right. See now, didn't it, I made it even more curvy, more bumpy? But I'm going to live with it. All right. So we're going to do two point perspective. So I'm going to put one point over here, and this is going to be our our western horizon. That's our western point, point right there. And then over here, I'm going to put a dot. Well, I tried to fix it, but I just made it worse. And I'm going to put a dot over here, and this is going to be our eastern horizon. Okay, our eastern point. So we have west and we have east. Okay. So now. Way at the top, uh, see, see, I'm going to draw this one tower right here. We're going to draw this one cool stack table tower featuring, you could draw on third day's book and you're going to love it so much you're going to want to want to get like 20 of them. All right, put a dot at the top. Up, oh, Instacart note. Instacart note, I got to stop everything. What is this? Oh, I lost my Instacart message. Where are you? Instacart message. Uh, well, now I have to find it again. I I just, I can't. Here, let's see. Let's see. All right, it's on its way. Yay! So we got it. This is, this is our live at five. Hurry up. Really need to introduce you to Two Point Perspective. Promoting my You Can Draw on 30, 30 Days book at the same time. Before Instacart. Mr. Sunday, that's his name. Thank you, Mr. Sunday, for getting my groceries. Down here, put it down at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to make a big tower here. See, one at the top, one at the bottom. And I'm going to use a ruler for this. I'm going to take my pencil. Now watch this. I'm going to put a dot at the top. This is going to be my vanishing point. It would be better, you guys, look at this. It would be better if I put the vanishing point off the paper. It wouldn't be so extreme. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and just have an extreme. Usually, I'll have, I'll put my vanishing points with tape way off the edge of the paper so it won't look quite as squished. But I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to do a tower. So I'm going to draw a guideline, super light, whisper light lines, whisper light lines. And from this, from the eastern guide point to the top of the tower, I'm going to draw. Then I'm going to draw the bottom from the eastern. I use my ruler. This is my fulcrum. I take. Now, what I've done before, and in the book I show you, I put, use a piece of cardboard underneath, I put two pins, and I put a rubber band in between here, and see so the rubber band, wherever you move the rubber band, it's it's a tight, it, it'll be, it'll keep uh, it lined up. It's a really neat, it's a really neat idea. I learned that from my teacher, who taught me how to draw two-point perspective in elementary school, former Walt Disney artist Bruce McIntyre, and a, just an American legend and national treasure with his teaching. It's just like Bob Ross learned how to paint with his techniques from William Alexander, who I met William Alexander. Yes, I actually met William, William Alexander when I was with my teacher, uh, who uh, I'm this protege, Bruce McIntyre, at uh, a public television station in uh, um, uh, Orange County, California. So, I met I met Willem Alexander before Bob Ross was Bob Ross. I was like uh, twelve or thirteen at the time. All right, so now I'm going to put a tower up here at the top. So let's see here. I'm going to put a dot about right here. That's going to be how thick my my top of the table is going to be. And I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to line it up with the western horizon line. 
I'm going to line it up with the eastern horizon line here. Western, eastern. All right, so I got the top edge. You see, I'm going to draw that top edge. Isn't that going to look cool? Then I'll put a bunch of, of these. Maybe I'll put a bunch of these holes getting smaller. So I'm going to make the table about that long, about that wide. See, I'll put my vertical lines here. So then let's make this a hovering. This will be a hovering box to begin with. Now, this, this looks a lot like this. In this book, I've written a whole bunch of books. I've written uh, 17 books now, I guess. Over a million of my books in print. <gasps> Whoa, impressive. I just am so tickled when I say that. Thank you for buying a million of my books out there, you loyal, wonderful, supporting fans. I love you. I love you. Let me show you this, this, uh, this one right here. See this? This is two-point perspective, and I'm drawing the box waving. See that? Isn't that cool? Look at this two-point perspective of the robot. Isn't that a fun one? Isn't that cool? This is a great one. Uh, this is by Simon & Schuster, one of my earlier books. All right. So we have that. We have the tower down. We're on a race against Instacart delivery. So it won't sit outside in the rain and the wind. But I made sure it wasn't raining. I'm in Texas, so we just went through our tropical storm. But we just had a... We didn't have any flooding up here where I live in northwest Houston, but we did have um, a lot of wind, and I have all kinds of twigs and leaves and branches, and Mario, of course, went out already. Look at that. He blew the gr the driveway and the sidewalk, and he blew the whole street and the cul-de-sac, the leaf blower. You productive guy. So the, I'm going to draw that tower thickness. Now watch this. See this? I'm going to take this. I'm going to aim it toward the... Point, connect it. See that in this cool. I'm going to use my my uh, pencil as a fulcrum for the guide point. I'm going to come up here now. I want to make sure that these lines go behind the corner. You see these go behind the corner, behind the corner. The same down here. Look at these lines will go behind the corner, not to the corner. That's the important part of when you're drawing these drawings. I'm going to draw this vertical line. This would be a really cool tower, vertical line. I'm going to do that. those freehand. See, it's all wiggly compared to the others. It's all right. Put a dot down here where you want the tower to, to the next layer. So I'll draw that darker here. And then I'll draw this as light. See, and I'll draw the bottom of the tower. Isn't that fun? Isn't that cool? So then we darken in. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now, this is also... This is also uh, featuring this book. Now, this one I self-published. So if this one, you have to go to my website, and you, you can buy this. This is $20 plus shipping, um, and, I'll, and I'll autograph it. You know, don't usually it's $50 for an autograph. Don't worry about it. If you guys like this book, send an uh, order it from markkissler.com, and I'll, I'll sign the front right here. Um, but this lesson is the third lesson of the book, talking about the table right here. See this? This is, a great, this is such a great book. See the table? And then I go into uh, embellishing the table. So we go in here, and I go into a whole, how, how to make, uh, look at this. Look at my students. They just went crazy. Look at this. Isn't that cool? So there's uh, AJ's Towers. Look at this. Look at all these different towers. Aren't these awesome? So every lesson, there's 12 chapters in the book, and every chapter has pages and pages of uh, these students. Look at these. Look at those towers. You can you isn't that crazy cool? Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? I did, and there's there's all pictures of my Zoom kids. I just love them. They're so awesome. All right. So this one is looking up. We've changed our point of view. We changed our perspective a little bit. We're looking up at it. See, this is your eye level, and you're looking up. Now down here. This this horizon line you're you're up you're looking down from this this is where your eye level is so right here on we're gonna draw the the base below it so from this point connect it okay let's draw that and then from this paint let's do that uh, line again connect it to line it up and I'm gonna line it up I'm gonna go past it okay see this now. I want to make sure that this is a big base. So I'm going to put a dot out here, and I'll put a dot out here. All right, now from this point, watch this. It lines up. Isn't that cool? Isn't that wonderful? And, oh, I don't, I can't, oh, there he goes. I see, I'm keeping an eye on my front porch, on my on my uh, cameras, and it, it, the, the wagons are still empty. Isn't that funny?
All right, now from right here, I'm excited because I have silk. The uh, I have uh, all these items, right? I pr probably have a whole wagon full of items. And the most exciting item I have coming from me is bag of uh, mandarin oranges, yum, and my silk non-dairy plant-based coffee creamer. Mmm, I ran out. And I've been drinking my decaf coffee with no creamer. Blah. Blah. So I'm going to go. So out of all the uh, the options, I that's what I'm most excited about getting. All right. So here's our tower. So now I'm going to draw a vertical line. Isn't that fun, you guys? Look at that. Look at that. You have a, this really cool two-point perspective tower. And you can put little characters looking behind there. Isn't that wonderful? So this is episode eight, learning, exploring with two-point perspective. Whoops, I made it too dark. I didn't want to make that that dark all the way up. All right. Isn't that cool? Now, look, now watch this. Now, back here, you know, back here, let's do something. Let's, I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a tower here and then a, a shorter tower here. And I'll draw the tower here, a tall tower. And a smaller tower. See, I'm going to put I'll put I'll put three towers on each side. Now these are going to be on the other side of the of the horizon line. So watch this. These lines are already done. See this? But I got to draw this line over here. Watch this. Now I like I like seeing that light line. I like seeing that light guideline. So now this tower, I'm going to draw that, and then draw that point, and I draw that uh, that that fulcrum here. And I like I like seeing that light line. I like seeing all that grid back there. Isn't that cool? I just love that grid that you create. I love it. So on this one, I'm going to connect that. And then I'll hope oh, this one's already connected, but I'll do it darker here. And we draw another building. Isn't that cool? These buildings back on the other side of the horizon. And now these are going to be a little bit bigger. So I'll draw the fulcrum. And I'm going to jump up to this one. I'll draw that one. I'll jump down to this one. And I'll draw this one. All right. Oh, I forgot to look at the... Uh, uh, yeah, Richard, thank you for answering that question. I look, forgot to look at the comments. I love these. These I just love these. These pen, I should... You know what? Since I've been promoting these, I used to be able to buy a box of these for like 25 bucks. Now these are $50. They doubled in price in the past two years because I promote them. And I I should put some kind of a royalty tag on these or something. I love them so much, but I never I never uh, I just you know business wise lame. But I love them. They're a great product. It's worth it. They're worth the. Uh, they're about ten bucks each. But if you buy the box, I got a box of uh, this was like fifty dollars. A dozen, and they're refillable. I just end up losing them and giving them away, and my my son takes them. Uh, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Good to see you, Dave. Uh, that's how I brag to people. I met Commander Mark. Well, thanks, Dave. Uh, let me see. I want to see more comments out here. I'm still waiting for Instacart. Hey, Mike Ingram. Mike, how are you? I have a note here. You sent me a note on my website. A wonderful, a very, very thank you, Mike, for that note. I haven't sent you an email back. I'm sorry the delay. It's been like two or three weeks, and I'm really sorry. It takes me a while to get to them. But your note about how you watching me when when you were growing up on PBS um, was so honest and so um, heartfelt, and it is deeply appreciated. Thank you very much. I uh, my whole staff. I sh I shared it and. Everybody, we were just, uh, it was a well-written and uh, just a beautiful note. So thank you very much, Mike. Um, I'm looking back at all the messages here. All right, cool. All right, now remember, here's our team goal. Subscribe to me while you're on. Uh, I want to get 100,000 subscribers. Got to share my dream, right? Share my, share my hope. And then, oh, and then I want this. My goal, my dream, is to get this in the top 100. So if you don't have this, uh, I'd be delighted if you order uh, on Amazon.com. Order You Can Draw in 30 Days. I'd appreciate it. You'd, uh, you'll you love it. It's a great, great book. It's been out for 10 years, over a million of my books. All right, let's, let's uh, draw the other side of these. Thank you again, Mike, for that letter. I can, I just, 
I can start tearing up little crybaby daddy whenever I uh, get letters like that. So thank you. Very, very uh, appreciated. It was such an honest communication. Uh, draw these lines here. All right, I love it. Look at that. Nice. That's a nice looking, uh, nice looking drawing here, you guys. And then, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, going back here. Watch this right here. Watch this. I'm going to put two horizontal dots. I'm going to put a four shortened circle. I'm going to put a row of four shortened circles getting smaller. See right here? I'm going to put two horizontal dots. I'm going to put a four shortened circle. And then I'm going to get them smaller. Look at this. You see? I'm going to put a row of these circles going back as they get smaller. So there's, look at this. It's a four shortened circle. I'm going to put a row of these circles getting smaller and smaller and smaller as they go back. <clears throat> now, right here, watch this. I think you'll like this. On th these ones, watch this. I'm going to draw overlapping. See this? I'm going to put this row of cans down here. And th look at this. I'm going to use the, my my uh, vanishing point to kind of mark. See? Oops. Can do it. I can do a little bit better than that. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to curve the bottom. See, I'm going to curve the bottom. I'm going to curve the bottom. And then up here, this one's really short back here. That's why the guidelines are so helpful, you know. And then now I'm going to have the sun. Ever since I was in second grade, I've been positioning my sun right there. Isn't that funny? Ever since I was in second grade, I've been putting my sun right there. I've been stuck... At 2.15 in the afternoon in my drawings for the past 58 years. Now the sun's up here. So I'm going to shade. Look at this. Shade the side. Now this is a curved object. So this is blended. See? And then I'm going to shadow. Even the shadow lines in that, that same direction. So I'm going to shade the side. It's dark on the side. And it gets lighter and lighter. I'm going to zoom that in so you can see it. Everything is lining up toward that vanishing point. Isn't that wonderful? Now, the good thing about this on YouTube and Facebook, YouTube, subscribe, ding, 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 put that little bell so you can see my live at five, okay? My, help me with my dream to get 100,000 subscribers. Bless you, attitude of gratitude, I appreciate it. Now, these holes, I'm going to do something different, variety. I'm going to put a thickness on the top, and I'm going to put overlapping little eyes inside here. See that? This is going to be really cool. All right, and then you darken it in. Well, let's see how consistent I'm going to be. I hope my goal is to get these live at fives almost every day, if not every day. Uh, Karen Wall remembers when I went 199 days in a row and I didn't miss a day. I was As long as it was before midnight in the time zone I was at, I used my phone and my, tri, my little tripod on my phone. I, I drew on the... Uh, in the passenger seat of Ubers from airports to the hotel room. It was like 11.57 at night, and I did a live lesson. While I was riding in the Uber, uh, or the baggage claim, I did a lesson in baggage claim one time because it was before midnight. I was just, I wanted to get to a 1,000. I wanted to get to a 1,000. I was so, I was so pumped up. And I get did 199 days, and then the, on the 199th day, I, uh, I I had a whole bunch of artist house guests and they were getting ready for my fine arts camp. It was uh, two summers ago, and it was so exciting, and so so much going on. I forgot. I just forgot to do my live, and the next morning I woke up and I realized, oh, but the good. I was devastated. But the good thing about it is I got a really great book. This is the 199 Days of Drawing. And this, you guys, is on YouTube. You can look at the 109 Days of Drawing. It's on my YouTube. Subscribe to it. And if you get the book, this book is the, the just basically, it's not an instruction book, you, you guys. This is just, this just shows, this shows the drawing. These are the actual drawings I did, but not the step-by-step. -step. Like, that was day 90, see? Day, uh. Or oh, days it was day sixty three of the first ninety. So, anyways, it's a it, this is a great book. You get this on my website at markkisser dot com. Same thing. I'll sign the inside cover and send it to you. But that's a that's just a fun story. Checking out the front porch again. Nope, we have more time. 
this is fun. I've never had one of my lessons, one of my live lessons, be uh, timed to my Instacart delivery. Have you guys ever had the uh, Instacart? It's they're amazing, and uh, every driver that has helped me has been so awesome. <clears throat> They have been just so great. I, I haven't had any. Hey, Jason. Good to see you. Thanks. I, I love getting your comments, you guys. Have you ever had Instacart? I, now, look at the sun's above here. So we have to shade underneath here, right? So this, now this is, I'm not going to blend this because this is a solid tone. So I'm going to twist and turn. It's okay to twist and turn your paper. Now, you could take your pencil and you could smooth this out. If you want the lines to now, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna put a little shadow, a little bit darker, right along the edge here, and do a little shadow. See, see what I did? I, I put a shadow here, and I put a little shadow up there. Put a little shadow, and I I sure like these. Uh, I sure like those cans, and I love these little eyes going back. Smaller and smaller and smaller. Let me move this in so you can see it. Let's shade it inside. Look at shade that inside. Not as dark as the hole. Have that value so it doesn't get your eyes don't get confused. You see how my your eye gets a little confused. Where's the hole and where's the thickness? So you got to shade carefully, not to make the make that a confusing. Uh, let me see here. Checking with the. Oh, I'm still good. We're still good. <clears throat> All right. Well, since we're still good, let's add some extras, huh? Watch this. Let's put let's put a door here, vertical line. I'm following the line above it as it goes off. I'm going to put a little door right here. See that? Isn't that cool? And the thickness now, uh, I'm going to use my ruler. The thickness right here lines up with this line here. See? So you have a little little thickness in a doorway. Now, you know what's cool? Watch this. I'm going to put a ramp. Draw the vertical line. Now I'm going to line this up with the, the side over here, that vanishing point. And it's coming up. Stop everything. I got an, a, a message. Oh, he's doing so awesome. All right, now watch this. Angle this uphill. Angle, see this? See that? Angle that uphill. I'm put, putting a little, I'm putting a little uh, ramp here. I just love this. Look at that. Isn't that ramp cool? So I'm going to take this. I'll line up the top with my west and I'll line up the bottom with my west vanishing point. Notice how that angles together. Isn't that cool? So you can see I did this quite a bit on this in this lesson of the you can draw in 30 days when I was drawing the, the castle here. You can see I did it quite a bit. See those ramps? That's on page 198 of you can draw in 30 days. Hope you guys get your copy of that so I can get my get the number up to uh to uh, oh, hey you know, look what I just I just got a, a, a member of my draw 3d I love that if you guys go to my website <coughs> draw 3d this is a wonderful family membership there's hundreds of recorded lessons and every Monday every Monday I go live at noon and at 6 30 every Monday this is part of the membership for the the draw 3d.com isn't that wonderful Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Isn't that cool? And I, uh, you know what? I'm going to give you a discount here. I got a discount code. Let me see if I can find it. Where is it? Where is the discount code? Where is the discount code? Um, I think, let me see here. I hope I, uh, now if I don't get this right, you email me. Here, I'm going to give you, here, here's the discount code. If you want 50% off, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Let's try this. It's Kistler 50. Shh, secret. Shh. Kistler 50. If you want to 
Instead of $200 for the year for the family membership, it's $99. Use that code for the one-year membership. That's a secret code. Shh. You can go to uh, Draw3. You can go to my website at markkessler.com and go to online uh, learning or just go to straight to Draw3D.com. Then the fun part is every Monday for 39 weeks from September through May, I go live uh, at noon on Zoom. And we it's like today or yesterday, we had about 25, 25 families joining us. It was just, it was thrilling. It was just love it, love it, love it. Uh, hey, Steve, Steve Woida. Hi, Steve Woida. And Alan French. Alan, my dear friend, my dear friend and sailing buddy and fellow uh, Clem, our friend, our dear, dear friend Clem. We were the three musketeers sailing. Uh, my heart and hats off to, to Clem. Thank you. Every time I, I see your name, I think of our buddy who lives on in our hearts and our memories. At Alan French, so great, so great to see you on there, Alan, Mister, Mister, uh, Dad slash Grandpa. He's he's he has. I'm just so impressed, Alan. You have kids, and you're you're the same age as me, and all my kids, all my kids are uh, tw twenty tw uh, nineteen and twenty one, and you have two, three, two or three, th just beautiful babies. And you're so brave. You're starting out when you're in your 50s. You're a wild man. <laughs> and your posts are just beautiful. Your posts are just beautiful. It's beautiful, kids there, buddy. Just gorgeous. Um, My daughter, Ruth, wants to say hi to Mark. Oh, hi, Ruth. Hey, Ruth. Here, I'm going to have this guy. Look at He's waving. This guy's saying hi to Ruth. Look, he's saying hi, Ruth. Hey Alan, email me, uh, email me a note, and I will email a book to Ruth. And I'll autograph a special one of my books. My email is mark at markkessler dot com. Alan, send me an email. Give me your shipping address, and I'll send Ruth a special, a special little book. Okay, um, sure, absolutely. Thanks for the nice comments. All right, I'm still looking for uh, the Instacart. Nope, we're still good. Alan, I'm racing the Instacart delivery driver. Isn't that hilarious? Hey, Alan, do can you believe on my high tech? Look at I got all the, these little images on the screen, and this was the help I had. Six different friends, hours and hours to teach me this, and now that I do it, it's I understand it. But it it is it, no <laughs> this is gnarly. But I use uh, OBS Studio uh, to get it you know, to build the screen and then to simulcast it on YouTube and Facebook. Um, I use Caster, which I, I just am a big fan of Caster. Oh, Alan French. Say hi to your, say hi to your wife. You're, you'll have your wife send me an email because you're a sailor. You're an old, uh, young at heart. You're an old sailor dog like me and technology just baffles you. Am I right? Just have your wife send me an email. That's fine. That's fine. Here, sun's up here, shade down. Hey, Alan, are you still sailing on your catamaran? You still sailing? I have so, so many memories of sailing with you and Clem. Um, we just used to sail in Southern California out of Oceanside Harbor. Just the most, some of the most beautiful days, the most beautiful memories sailing into the sunset. I'm going to darken in the horizon here. See this? It's all, this is really cool, you guys. Going a little bit longer than our 15-minute brain, uh, our brain stretch, our brain exercise, but. Oh, you got a motorboat. <laughs> ha! I, I, uh, I would have done the same thing. I went from the catamaran, Allen to a 27-foot Catalina sailboat, and then I sold it to my brother, and now when my, Mario and I, and. Uh, Selena, whenever we were going uh, out here in Texas, we would rent a motorboat. A, a, I would rent a, what do you call it, a pontoon, and I'd pull the kids behind with their in the inner tubes and stuff. So yeah, I haven't I haven't sailed catamarans for for uh, it's been over twenty years, twenty five years. <clears throat> been over twenty five years, but next time I'm in California, can I invite myself and Mario to go on the boat with you, Alan? 
Isn't this fun? Look, at we can communicate live. Isn't this cool? I'm talking here in Houston, and you're texting me. I just love this. So yeah, Alan, I'm gonna invite myself to, uh, uh, and we'll go. We'll go to Hungry Hunter. There is it still Hungry Hunter in Oceanside? That that restaurant on the harbor. We can go to Hungry Hunter and get some uh, lunch, and uh, reminisce with grand stories of our dear friend Clem. <coughs> oh, any time or cool. All right. Well, I don't know when. I'm still kind of freaked. Well, totally freaked out with our our COVID numbers in Texas are crazy. And my son and I are both vaccinated and we're waiting for the boosters, whatever. But um, the numbers got so, they went down to almost zero. And I was ready to fly to California and visit family. It's been over a year and a half. I miss my family, my my brothers and my sisters and my dad. And uh, then the COVID numbers are, went up to 3,000 new cases a day. It's like, ah. Uh... And I know that the, the 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 you know vaccinated it's less likely to have a serious. But I have so many health issues. So, but oh oh, it's Jolly Roger, Alan French, Jolly Roger. Oh, I got it mixed up. The Hungry Hunter is on the seventy eight freeway in Oceanside, and the Jolly that's right, Jolly Roger. And I'll have my you know my brother Carl. He goes he'll he'll join us with his as a sailboat. That'll be fun, Alan. That'll be really fun. I don't know when it'll be. The numbers have to be low enough for me to feel comfortable to go into the airport. And uh, I, I don't know when it, that, 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 I mean, that the new case numbers. I don't know how it is in California, but in Texas, it's just out of control down here. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, here's uh, Alan's email. Yeah, Alan, I'll send you an email right now. Okay, hold on. Here, I'm going to send it here live. I'm going to send you a live email right now. Okay, here it goes. Wait. Wait. i got to keep in touch with my buddy, with my fellow sailor. It's uh, Spark. Is it no space? I'm going, to, I'm going to try it here. Sparky. Cool name. Cool email. Sparky Pilot. Pirate. Sparky Pirate. Right now. Live for a hundred, couple hundred people to get this email. Sparky Pirate. Good name. Sparky Pirate 1. You can see how slow I am. This is my life. Sparky. There's a, you know what? There's another Sparky. Uh, there's a Sparky puppy in my email. Can you believe that? Sparky Pirate 1 at gmail.com. You can tell me if you get it. Gmail.com. And plus. Cancel. All right. Hi, buddy. And then I'm going to take a picture. Oops, I sent it. I didn't mean to send it. I was going to take a picture. See, this is this is me all day long. Did I send it? Did I send it? Ah! I don't, I don't know if I sent it. I am so... Uh, I am so challenged. Ah! Here I am just trying to send one email. And I have no idea. I pushed a button and I meant to push a photo. Ah! All right. So look at I did that. I think we're ready. I think that's it. Checking the. I think we should just keep going until Instacart shows up. Let me see. Nope. Not here yet. Let me see if he's uh, if he's uh, responded to me here. Okay. Oh, we'll just keep going. I hope I'm not. What am I cooking? I'm smelling something cooking. I'm wondering if it's burning. I am so ADHD. Oh, look at Jason. Hey, Jason. How you doing, Jason? Mara and I are looking forward to our Zoom at 730. Okay, bud? It's going to be really cool. And Dave said, did you do a future Space Team TV show in 80? Yes, I did. I did. I did this. Oh, he, Dave said I did. I did a TV series back here. In 1980s, called the Secrecy with Commander Mark, and yes, I was just as uh, distractible squirrel as I am now. That was, and then in 1996, I did this series, The Imagination Station. We actually won the Emmy, which I just happened to have. Look at this, and then the camera. Oops, let me see it. 
There it is. See, if you can look at the the camera down here in the corner, watch. I just happen to have this as my it's, it holds up a bunch of files, but I just happen to have my Emmy right here. Isn't that funny? How modest of me! I just happen to have it. Isn't that hilarious? Hey, Jason, when you come over, go bike riding. You can take a picture with my Emmy, okay? Jason is going to meet me out here. Jason, I, I this trail I'm going to show you. This, uh, it, it's a uh, see. I I for. 15 years, lived in Santa Barbara, California, and I had this, this I've had the same bike uh, for 20 years, 23 years now. I love it. And we used to mountain bike the, for the top of the uh, these hills right along Santa Barbara, part of the Sierras, Sierras. And, oh, these hills, we would drive our truck up to the top, put all the bikes in the back. We'd have four or five friends, and it would take three hours all downhill at like, oh, ah! uh, you know, looking at the edges of the Pacific Ocean and the islands, Channel Islands, and then back into the forest and the ravines. Ah, oh, it was the most. So that's what I'm used to as far as mountain biking. But I found a trail, Jason, that I keep telling you about every time. Thanks for having Mario come to your house every other Saturday to mow. It's just, it's just a highlight. He just adores you guys. Um, so the trail I found is called Spring Creek Trail, and it is in uh, Spring, Spring, Texas. It's just right on the edge of Woodlands and Spring, and it's a 13-mile trail. And I ride, <clears throat> I ride up and back about seven miles of it. I don't even know, maybe four miles. I, it's an hour. It's an hour up and back on for my segment. I do it. It's beautiful. It's I, I like it because it's forested. Because it's so hot out here, it's, it gets to be like 90 before 10.30 in the morning a lot of times. So, uh, But it's shaded, and it's always comfortable. It's always okay. I mean, it's warm, but you drink lots of water. And it's technical. you got some ravines and lots of roots and stuff. But uh, you'll love it when you can get it into your schedules, Jason. It is so awesome. Well, you've seen pictures of it. I, I, think, I think you mentioned that, right, Jason? You've seen pictures of it on my Facebook post? Have you? Question? Um, I'm looking down at the notes here. Uh, Mike Ingram, you've seen a combination OBS restream and yellow duck. You can stream to YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Really? Mike, you've got to teach me how to do that. Mike, send me an email. Yeah, I want you to coach me. Would you take, could you coach me, Mike? Here's my email. Send me an email and I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, get a FaceTime going and, or we can go zoom and I can, we can share screens. But oh my goodness, I would I would love to do that. To do uh, I'm missing out on Instagram. I used to take for Instagram, I would take I'm checking I'm checking my camera to see if my So no, we're still good to go, guys. The the Instacart groceries have not arrived yet. But what I would do is I would take this one of these things, this clamps, and I'd clamp my phone and I would aim it at one of my computers. I have you guys got to see this. It's crazy. This. I let me see if I should. Should I show you my office? Okay, look at this. I'll show you. So look, it's all wood. Look, it's a mess. So I'm moving. Uh oh. Did I lose my? I lost my camera. Great. Uh oh. I lost my camera. Well, so much for my. So let me see if I can redo my camera. I was trying to show you my, my office, and then I you got I. I Great. I lost it. Let me see if I can get it back up again. Video capture. No. No, it's still locked. Well, there it is. Sorry about that, guys. Ah! Now it's locked on the on my block of wood. Now you can't see it. Well, I was going to show you my mes my messy office one. There you go. Oh, that is funny. All right, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll put that one off. There. Hey, I wonder if I could enlarge this one. I wonder if I can make this one larger. Ooh, this is cool. Ooh. Ooh, I'm getting fancy, you guys. Ooh, look what I did. Are you impressed? Jason, are you impressed? I just... I'm I'm uh, learning how to direct. Ooh, you want to do something funny? Watch this. I can move these around. Here, no, I can't. Not that one. Here, let me see. Look at that. I'm moving these around here. 
Isn't that funny? But I'm not going to because then it'll miss up for my next show. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know you could do it live. I had no idea you could do it live. Here, let me just do something fun. This is fun. I'm 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 uh I'm gonna see how cool Ooh, look at me, look at me, getting all fancy. Look at that. I'll put that put it down in the corner down here. Oops. All right, there. Is that fun? Look at that. Isn't that funny? Here, live at five. Here, I'm gonna make this huge. Okay, now now I'm getting squirrel. Now I had no idea I could do this, so I had no idea I could do this when it's live. But maybe I'm well, all right. Enough of that. Playtime, playtime. Let's see. Uh uh Jason comments, thank you. And Mike and Instagram is or Instacart is coming. Thank you guys for driving with me. Sorry I lost the camera. Uh Mike, you can switch to producer mode and do a custom transfer between scenes. Well, Mike. Here, uh, send me a note. Send me an email to mark at markkessler.com. I would love to uh, schedule a coaching session with you. That would be so awesome. I'm going to put this back because next time I, I'll forget. I'll forget what I did. And I'll go, oh, no, why is it all messed up? I'm going to put this back into the right configuration here. See now, now I got to get it all resized so it fits. Look at this. Yeah. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get right now. All right. Well, guys. Oh, send it now. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, uh, and thank you again for that letter. That was really cool. Thank you guys for <laughs> for. Uh, uh, Hanging in there with me while I chilled and played around with all the OBS fancy stuff. And uh, have a great night. I hope you do. I hope you guys practice your drawing. Practice your drawing. Uh, hope you guys uh, subscribe to my YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook. Grab yourself uh, 30 copies of You Can Draw in 30 Days. Help me get that number up. Let me see. I'm going to see right now. I'm going to see if the number has gone up at all. Let's see how many of you actually went running, dashing, dashing to Amazon to get my book. Let's see. We have to get Mr. Commander Mark. We have to help him get his goal of top 100 for the books, right? That's what you're thinking and you're, you're helping me. Let's see if it went up at all. We were at 17, right? Let's see the influence and power I have. Ha! <laughs> now we're at 2,200. I'm going the wrong way. What? Now are people going, oh, this guy, he's so annoying. I want a refund now. Oh, that is funny. Now we're at 2,000. We're going the wrong way. Ah, so much for my uh, powerful impact as a media mogul. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Fist bump. Thanks for drawing with me. And I'm going to log off and go put groceries away. See you guys.